Going to zero in further on the role of women in politics, a new film highlights the record number of first-time female candidates who ran, won, and upended politics, and what became the historic, barrier-breaking 2018 midterm elections. I always tell the story that I never slept on November 8th. The scene here is so different than a few hours ago. What started off as impossible is now reality. But I sure as hell woke up on November 9th. It might not have been a glass ceiling that shattered, but something exploded. Powerful men have existed inside what seemed like a perfectly protective bubble. I am sick and tired of a Congress made up of this old boys club. It's not okay. We deserve better. There's a record number of women getting into politics. Nearly two thirds are seeking office for the first time. Seeing a surge of women. This huge surge of women. What's behind the surge of women? There are just so many elected positions in this country where a woman has never served, where a woman of color has never served. It's the right race, it's the right time, and I'm the right candidate. I had to run. I had to do it. Women are now the most important political force in the United States of America. The new documentary is called Surge, and it is set to premiere on Tuesday on Showtime. Joining us now, Democratic Congresswoman Lauren Underwood of Illinois. She's the youngest African-American woman to be elected to Congress and is one of the women profiled in the film. Also with us, directors and producers of the film Surge, Hannah Rosenswag and Wendy Sachs. Hannah formerly served as a videographer for Hillary Clinton's 2008 presidential campaign, and Wendy formerly served as press secretary on Capitol Hill. Um, okay, so Hannah and Wendy, I'll start with you on, I mean, first of all, I love this on so many levels because it is very much like a woman to say, you know what? Forget it. I'll just do it myself. You guys are so bad. And it feels like that's what happened in 28, uh, during the midterms. It just felt like so many women were just so fed up that they rolled up their sleeves and had to pick up the pieces. What was really, I guess, the inspiration for this film? Hannah, I'll start with you. Well, we were just seeing, after the massive women's marches in 2017, we were seeing that women were not only marching, but there were all these women from all over the country who were just uh, hey, saying, hey, we need to run for office to make real change in our communities. So Wendy and I felt like it was just such an important story and that it would be a historic moment. And it ended up being a historic moment with the new Congress in 2018 and Lauren's incredible win. Uh, so that was really the genesis of the story. So. So, Wendy, tell us, because I know Lauren will—tell us why Lauren was sort of a focus here and why she thought—you thought she'd be perfect for this film. Well, when we were casting, really, for characters and we were trying to figure out who were the races that we wanted to follow, we knew that we wanted to follow a really diverse, representative group of women. And they were all running for the very first time. Another thing that we were looking for were women who were looking to flip their red districts to blue. This was very important. So we were looking for these women who really represented this movement. And Lauren Underwood just popped. I mean, we were early on. We had heard about her race. We knew she was running in a really challenging district. Um, she's young. Um, she's a nurse. And she was out there running a really scrappy campaign and fighting the fight. And she just really emerged as one of these incredible candidates to follow. Donny Deutsch. I just want to, as the lone guy on the panel, I want to make a point, <laughs> not only not about the great women in this film, but the women voters. I do believe women are going to save this country. Uh, I've written a book, a chapter of my book, I talk about how women are superior. The black woman voter, the suburban woman voter, they have a sense of preservation. They have a sense of strength. And I really believe at the end of the day, we're going to be talking uh, the first week in November about how women save this country. So not really a question, but really congratulations. And, and I'm reaching out to the su superior gender to save us, because I know that's what's going to happen. It's the women are going to bring down Donald Trump. Well, thank well you Donna, for that. You, couldn't, you couldn't be more right. Caddy Kay, jump in. <laughs> Well, Congressman, let me take this to you. I mean, you came into office not knowing that there was going to be a massive pandemic around the corner. You have a medical background. You are a nurse. 
you would think that would make you a shoe in for re-election because you understand the science, you can deal with the biggest crisis that your constituents are facing at the moment. How is it looking for you going into 2020? Does the fact that you have this medical background help you? Well, my community certainly knows my credentials and are familiar with our accomplishments. Three bipartisan bills signed into law by President Trump. But we do have a competitive race. Uh, and so we're not taking anything for granted. We have 60 days until the election, uh, about three weeks until ballots are mailed out across my community to those who have requested them. And so we are in the thick of it right now. You know, I, but, but, Lauren Underwood, so I, I, I wondered what was the inspiration for your campaign? Was it sort of being, was it being fed up or was this a lifelong career aspiration for you? Well, I decided to run after serving in the Obama administration. You know, I'd worked on public health emergencies and disasters. We did Ebola and Zika. And I stayed and served until the very last day and returned home to Illinois. Our state expanded Medicaid, and I began working for a Medicaid managed care plan in Chicago when I went to my congressman's <laughs> one and only public event of 2017. It was during the time of Obamacare repeal. And he made a promise. He said he was only going to vote for a version of repeal that let people with pre existing conditions keep their health care coverage. Now, I'm a nurse. I worked on the Affordable Care Act, and I have a pre-existing condition. So I believed him because it was personal. And then two weeks later, he broke his word and voted for the American Health Care Act, the version of repeal that did the opposite. It made it cost prohibitive for people like me to get affordable coverage. And I decided, you know what? It's on. I'm running. <laughs> I love it. The new documentary is Surge, and it premieres on Showtime this Tuesday at 9 p.m. Hannah Rosenzweig, Wendy Sachs, thank you so much. Congresswoman Lauren Underwood, thank you as well. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.